This is a NEMA 17 stepper motor, and it's used to move all the axes on your 3D printer. So why do we call it a stepper motor? Well, there are 200 different positions on a stepper motor per 360 degrees of revolution, and each one of those positions is called a step. If you ever held a stepper motor shaft and you twist it, you can actually feel the different positions as it turns. Now, of those 200 different positions, you can, in fact, go in between those positions using a feature known as micro-stepping. The thing about it is, micro-stepping is not exactly the most accurate way of using a stepper motor because you're going in between two different distinct positions. And uh, that's not great. So, how do we increase the mechanical resolution of a stepper motor? In the case of the Z-axis on a standard 3D printer, we use a lead screw. So we couple the stepper motor to a lead screw, and that converts rotational movements into linear movements. Now, the resolution in this case is altered in terms of its linear movement resolution based on the pitch of the lead screw. So when we talk about the mechanical resolution of the Z-axis on a 3D printer, we have to take two things into account. How many steps the stepper motor is capable of and the pitch of the lead screw. Now, 8 millimeter pitch is pretty standard, but if we want a higher resolution on the Z-axis of our 3D printers, a very simple thing we can do is simply get a lead screw with a tighter pitch. So, for instance, the one that we have up top here is a 2 millimeter pitch, which if we compare that to our 8 millimeter pitch, you can see we'll have to use a lot more rotation in order to get the same amount of Z travel on our 3D printer than we would with an 8 millimeter pitch rod. But that increases our mechanical resolution pretty significantly. So why would you want to go to a 2 millimeter pitch over the standard 8 millimeter pitch? Well, the idea is that if you can increase the mechanical resolution on the lead screw, you can try and avoid any situation where you might be using micro-stepping on the stepper motor to achieve that linear position that you're going after. Anytime you can avoid micro-stepping in favor of a full step is beneficial. Micro-stepping isn't always the most accurate way of using a stepper motor, so uh, we're going to try it on an Ender 3 and see if it actually does translate into better layer quality. So to test all this out, of course, we're doing a Benchy. So, because we have a higher resolution on this axis now than we did before, you can see the auto bed leveling compensating in real time really easily because the motor has to move more in order to do the same amounts of compensation on the Z axis. Pretty neat. Alright, our little benchy has finished, so let's pop it off the build surface here and take a look at the layers. Oh, first glance, that's not bad. Could perhaps use a little bit of fine tuning. Some small zits where the uh, layer starts. This is under a light, so it really accentuates the, uh, the layers. We can really see what's going on. Overall, that's not too bad. All right, so there's a few things you guys got to know if you're going to attempt a mod like this because swapping out the lead screw and then not doing anything is not going to work. You have to change firmware settings. So some things to take uh, note of is we got to go and change the steps per millimeter uh, for the Z axis. And typically it'll be 400 but we got to bump it up to 1600 if we're going from an 8 millimeter pitch down to a 2 millimeter pitch. It's a pretty big difference. And the next thing is the velocity. Standard velocity on the Z axis is 15. We bumped it down to 10. And the reason we do that is because if you try to go at standard speed, uh, the motors will lock up because they have to work more to do uh, what they're doing. These are pretty low torque motors. So uh, we're also uh, keeping it in stealth chop, so that also kind of reduces the torque a bit. 
But beyond that, uh, seems to work okay.